Welcome to the FT House and Home Christmas video. Our guest Shane Connolly is the floral designer whose international reputation is based on his ingenious manipulation of beautiful natural materials. So Shane, we all know Christmas is best around the table with friends, family, enjoying a festive meal. It's very simple. I don't really feel that I have any, any energy left by the time Christmas comes along to make pretty decorations on a table. What I just do is find plants that I like, in this case these Christmas roses, hellebore, and some berries in little water containers. I've picked up the colour of the lights in the colour of the glass. Candles arranged formally along the middle of the table in, in these nice storm lanterns with sort of weathered wood. Everything here, you could move that bit away and that bit away to put two beautiful bowls of vegetables or a stew on Boxing Day. You can put bottles of wine amongst it. It still looks nice. This is my little bit of spice, the Indian spice that makes your meal really exciting. And these are a type of ilex, so they're a type of holly cultivated especially for the Christmas market. And the mistletoe that we have here, yeah. it's an incredible mistletoe chandelier you've created. <laughs> well, I haven't created it, that's nature. It's, it's a bough of mistletoe and the Druids had it as a sacred plant. They couldn't understand how it grew as a parasite on other trees. It symbolises the, that you can overcome any difficulties. So the next thing you're showing us, Shane, is this incredible staircase decoration. Well, it's a bit of fun and a bit of flamboyance and it makes Christmas feel very special. It would be very good, for instance, if you didn't want to have a Christmas tree, you could just decorate the staircase like this. Uh, and it's just a great introduction to the house. This staircase is right opposite the front door. You come in, you see this, and it makes a nice alternative to garlands on a staircase, which is a more traditional thing to do. We've used two different types of pine, Douglas pine and Scots pine, and they really smell nice, the lovely resinous smell. And pine in the language of flowers symbolizes hope. We've used six beautiful large branches and we've then woven pine through them. And sometimes we use small bits, we've attached the whole thing with cable ties and we can simply weave that through to hide the cable ties. It's the sort of thing that the children would really enjoy doing. So finally, Shane, we're at the traditional Christmas wreath. Yeah. Uh, this is extraordinary and huge. Could you tell us how you put this together, please? Well, I think you have to get it the right size for a door, and, and the door here is quite big. And it's really quite simple. A door wreath is made on a metal frame, Yeah. which we then bind everything to using this simple binding wire, again, available from any florist. And then when you get to this stage, you can start putting things in in a free fall way. Everything in this is British grown, which I really like. That's something that's very important, except as before, the little golden ilex berries that we used on the tables. I mean, the holly's really traditional English, traditional Christian, because uh, it symbolizes the blood of Christ and the, the, the thorns of a sort of difficult Christian life. Thank you so much for sharing your vision of Christmas with us, Shane. It's a pleasure. I think this wreath summarizes the whole lot you know, not being commercialised, using locally grown things where you can and just being a bit homespun, not being afraid to do it yourself. <laughs>